If you're looking to buy some Ultimate Team Coins, go check out the FIFA shop.co.uk. All the links are down below in that description box. And use discount code of GC5 to get your 10% discount on all of your ores, guys. They're cheap, reliable, and you get your coins within 60 seconds. What's up guys, g here and welcome to a brand new video and today we've got a returning series from FIFA 13 which is going to be one day kid hybrids where I take some players in real life that are showing some real, real promise and have a massive potential ahead of them and uh, put them in one squad and build a team around them guys. So if you know 1,500 likes for the return of this series that would be absolutely awesome and in the comments below let know one kids I should build a squad around next also if you missed last night's video i done the fastest possible BPL team so that will be in the description below. So today we got four players, including one defender, a cam, and two attackers. But in goal, we have got Theobald Courtois uh, from Chelsea. And he's a wonder kid himself. I mean, he's still very, very young. I think he's 22, 23. And uh, he's one of the best, young, uh, probably the best young goalkeeper in the world, guys. And uh, right back, we have got Laura. Um, this team will be built around some Liga Adelante players because the two of the players do play for Barcelona B currently. But the first wonder kid is going to be Kurt Zuma. He's a very, very promising young centre back at Chelsea now. Uh, initially, he was at St Etienne, and then uh, Jose Mourinho actually brought him in, but shown some real promise. Not getting much game time at the moment, but obviously, he's one for the future. Gary Cahill links with him, and he's absolutely awesome in this game. And in real life, one of my favourite defenders in the league and for England. And uh, finally, got Jetro Williams. I'm not sure how good is in real life honestly no idea but again he is very, very young himself and then we've got Tony Vilhena uh, from Feyenoord he's actually on the Wonder Kid top 100 list so he could again be considered one himself but there are the four players I'm building them around uh, right center mid is going to be a bronze which is Emilio Sanchez who's got 72 passing on a bronze which is absolutely sick I mean that's real nice stats there uh, as an overall then we've got Alan Helalovic uh, he actually plays now for Barcelona B and look at this I know I'm actually smashing this guy and the keeper passed it to me but not many 71 rated non rare cards should be able to hit a ball like that on the volley of that's um i actually i think i scored there's one game of take where i won 8-1 got the loss and didn't actually go on my record and i think he scored five and got three assists which is absolutely mad so he would have scored uh, like 14 goals or oh, something stupid like that uh then we have got dongu as the next wonder kid who has been dubbed as the next Samuel Eto, and uh, whether or not that's the link with him being at Barcelona and also being Cameroonian, uh, I'm not too sure. He's very, very quick in this game and also very, very good. And finally, Memphis to pay. He's had uh, World Cup appearances and also scored at the World Cup multiple times. So he, this guy's got a big uh, like promise or future ahead of him. And uh, whether that's a PSV or not, we'll see because a lot of big English clubs and European clubs have been linked. But I forgot to mention uh, Halalovic. He's actually only 18. He's an international for Croatia, and uh, Barcelona actually as a club signed him from. Uh, Dino Zagreb this uh, th this summer just gone and he, he scored an absolutely world of a goal yesterday I saw it uh, the vines came around everywhere you might have seen it yourself cut in on his left and absolutely banged it but as you can see in these clips Halalovic is freaking incredible in this game um, he's got an incredible shot on him like I was really surprised uh, shooting wise dribbling wise everything like that he is a very very nice player and uh, I have put him in a, a quite a low rated team um, it's many silvers because it, that, that's what he is he's a silver player he's not going to be playing like uh, your Messi's or anything like that that's why um, people often often put silvers in a goal team and they expect too much and honestly his level is a, a silver so that, that's the reason he's there guys uh, but yeah I've covered each of them uh, obviously Zuma promising young centre back Depay is a world cup goal scorer uh, Dongu apparently the next Eto and also Halalovic a 18 year old international for Croatia and um, overall the team team played really well I think it's actually quite cheap as well because uh, Memphis Depay now is 1000 coins which is so cheap for a 5 star skiller uh, but he was the one that contributed the least I mean Halalovic obviously was the key player and Dongu was a very nice player on top of that but as you can see uh, I just scored uh, it's kind of a trampy goal but the one where I rouletted it in with Halalovic I really enjoyed that goal for some reason. I think it looks sick. And this is also another very really nice goal here. Don't go with the back gill. And then Halalovic slots at home. Really nice go, uh, overall goal. And uh, Dongu and Halalovic just have a really nice uh, partnership to, uh, between them. And the right wing, he didn't really get involved too much, but he had a lot of assists, which is uh, it's kind of a plus for a player. It's kind of a, a filler. I'm going to call him a filler because he wasn't going to be in there otherwise. And uh, nice nice finish here from Dongu. He can take it really well. I mean, he's got 59 shooting on his card, but honestly, it feels a lot better than that. The guy, he, the guy can finish, and... Um, it's one of the weird ones. FIFA stats tend to lie quite a lot. I mean, he fills his pace, uh, if not even more. Uh, but his, his dribbling and his shooting are very, very low. But for a player to score more than one goal a game uh, with 59 shooting, I think that's pretty damn impressive, guys. Uh, so, like I said, in the comments below what one kids I should do next. Subscribe for daily FIFA 15 content. Um, if you enjoy the video, smash that like button. Like I said, if you know 1,500 likes for the return of this series, that would be absolutely awesome, guys. Yes, this video will be in the description below. I've done the fastest ever B or fastest possible BPL team. And it, it was really fun to do, and it's actually quite a good video, uh, like entertainment wise, guys. So check that out. And yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video, and I will see you next time.